Though mitral valve area by echocardiography can be measured by multiple methods, commonly used ones are two-dimensional planimetry of valve area and pressure half-time methods because of their ease of performance. In two-dimensional planimetry, the valve area is traced out using an electronic caliper and the machine calculates the valve area. Smallest full circle is taken as the metal valve area as larger full circles may be proximal measurements of the belly of the mitral leaflets and hence not representative of the actual severity of obstruction. If it is not full circle, it may be a distal measurement or oblique measurement. Mitral valve area by planimetry on echocardiogram is usually obtained from the parasternal short axis view. It can also be obtained from the basal transgastric short axis view by transesophageal echocardiography. The inner edge of the leaflets is traced in mid diastole. Gain setting should be optimized as high gain settings can underestimate the valve area. Two dimensional valve area measured in this way gives an overestimate compared to that measured by three dimensional echocardiography, especially in those with dilated left atrium. This is because better alignment at the tip of the mitral valve can be obtained by transesophageal 3D echo with excellent inter-observer and intra-observer reproducibility. 3D planimetry from the left ventricular aspect is the most accurate method of measurement of mitral valve area. Measurement of mitral valve area after balloon mitral valvotomy follows the same pattern. Measurement using real-time 3D echocardiography is superior to 2D planimetry of mitral valve area in the immediate post-mitral valvotomy period. Real-time 3D echocardiographic valve area has the best correlation with invasively determined mitral valve area in this setting. Assessment of mitral valve area by pressure half-time involves Doppler echocardiography. A pressure half-time of 220 millisecond corresponds to the valve area of 1 square centimeter. Pressure half time is measured from the descent of the E wave in the transmitral Doppler, usually obtained in epical four chamber view. PST is the time taken for the peak transmitral gradient to fall to half its value. It will also correspond to the time taken for the transmitral velocity to fall by square root of 2 as the pressure gradient is proportional to the square of the velocity. Mitral valve area is equal to 220 by pressure half time. In this image, green cursor measures the pressure half time of the mitral stenosis jet. In this case, the pressure half time was 163 milliseconds.